one was a pet project of mine for a little while. It was a lot of visits to army surplus stores. This one took between one and a half months to two months. It didn't take me really long to do. Because it took about a month. Most of it is uh, a repurposed motorcycle armor that I painted over a few times and all that stuff and then kind of mixed and matched. Well, this I actually bought. I think I put the thing, whole thing together in about a day. Um, this is actually a face shell from like an old Spider-Man costume that I that I had from last year. And I got a few new frames and I painted them myself and made the lenses and it all, you know, came all right, all right you know? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't much. It was just a cave and a bodysuit and the belt was the most difficult. Well, that depends how long it should take because I thrift a lot of my outfits um, and change them accordingly. So like the tie really just took me like a few minutes to hot glue this purple ribbon on. Um, like and other things like alterations only take a few minutes. But uh, I have done outfits that take three months, four months. It's a lot of work, really. The outfit itself, I just kind of found clothes and painted onto it the stripes. The cannon still took like eight hours. This one was close to a year. So this particular cosplay only probably took two to three hours altogether. It should take about oh, anywhere from five to six months. We rushed it three weeks. Maybe 10-ish hours of work and some ordering online. I commissioned this outfit and the hat back in around July. Not counting all the time I took to just look for materials that would suit it. Uh, it took about 16 weeks between uh, three different studios to put this together. Gosh. On and off, it probably took about four months for me. I went fabric shopping with my friend and she put the whole outfit together. It looks so amazing and I'm so happy. I lost count after like the fifth office season. This one I got online for a lot. Altogether, it may have taken me about three or four weeks. It took about three days to find everything, get it together, uh, fix up pieces, make pieces we didn't have. That took a couple months and then buy some extra stuff that's mine, straps. This is my third staff. I had to remake this bit because the first time I didn't like the material I used. Oh yeah, not, not too much time. Yeah, that was like uh, 10 hour days sewing. The second time I spray painted it over 40 hours. And the chemicals did not work with the material, so it dissolved. Other than that, you just get some clothing and you distress it, so you beat the crap out of it with some rocks, sandpaper, throw some paint on there, and you're done. It's about 30 hours of gluing and sanding and sewing and all kinds of nonsense. It was, uh, it was quite the thing. For me, it's a progression from two years. Uh, my friend Toronto Iron Man made the arm for me. I just got the jacket custom made this year, and uh, yeah, everything else is all new. And two years of progress, and I'm finally happy with where I'm at standing. I guess I did about six hours of weathering on it, but the rest I kind of just bought online. The weathering is just like paint with dark brown over top of like the, the lines in the costume to give it make it look dirty. For steampunk kind of stuff, usually you find your one statement piece and you build the outfit around that. It usually doesn't take too long. You can keep adding to it. Like she's wearing like four necklaces. I'm wearing three. Um, with like normal cosplays, like um, cosplaying actual characters, though it can take a while. Yeah, lots of sewing involved, so yeah, definitely took a while. Yeah.